Hi Gemini, welcome to your love connection reading for the end of August, second half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much. Please do check the description box below. There is a ton of information there for you. Um, decks I'm using, links to personal readings and all social media links, tons of stuff there. Please do go check it out. Thank you so much. Before we get started, a quick shout out to my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or a donation to the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you for all your support. It really means a lot to me. And I love doing this for you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Gemini, second half of August. Second half of August almost done summer one more month i guess so i hope everybody's doing well so this is for any kind of connection for anybody that you have in mind this is a love reading so whatever your situation is and whoever you are thinking about at this time we'll see um, what comes up this is a zodiac oracle so we could get a planet sign or element energy see how that plays into your reading if you find this part does not resonate for you that is totally fine rest of the message may be for you if you clicked on the link then something brought you here so hopefully there is a message in here somewhere for you okay so for gemini last half of august spirit please and this love connection reading what may some gemini's be dealing with the second half of august spirit please can we have one Heart Virgo. Okay. So, so, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, some Geminis could be dealing with a Virgo. And if not, that's totally fine. Or maybe they have Virgo heavily in their chart somewhere, if you um, know their chart at all. Okay. So, with this deck here, first thing that I will do is get an overall love energy for you for the second half of August. Let's see what's going on for Gemini, second half of August. What is the energy like, love energy like for Gemini, second half of August, Spirit, please? I think that one. No. Oh boy. Oh no. Well, I don't know. We'll see what that means. So, don't uh, think negatively yet. Let's see what's going on first. Okay, so let's oh, let's get let's get one card for you, Gemini, for how you are feeling. Wow. Well, I guess that is your card. <laughs> Did you see that? Just whoop, and fly up like that. Holy crap! I felt like literally it was pulled out of the deck and thrown thrown there honestly that was i've never had that happen before i mean i've had cards fly out but that literally felt like it was pulled and thrown onto the table so spirit saying here's your card gemini so this is how you are feeling um about your person in this connection for the last half of august no need to worry so that could just be an extra clarifier of the no that there's no need to worry. Are you thinking right now that you are worried about this connection, that it may not work out, it may not happen? Um, so maybe, you know, you're thinking, do I, do I need to worry about this, you know? And I think Spirit is saying no. And no need to worry. So, wow. Okay. So I think you're worried about this connection and what's going to happen. That's what I feel like. And Spirit here is saying, no, no, no need to worry. No, no. <laughs> kind of like a mother. No, no. All right, Gemini. Uh, let's get one card. Wow, I want to talk tonight. One card for your person and how they are feeling about you. The second half of August, Gemini. Gemini, second half of August. How is their person feeling about Gemini and this connection? Okay, so we have ask for help from others about your person. So 
I don't know. This can mean a lot of different things. Maybe your person um, doesn't know much about you and needs to ask their friends about you or need, or maybe they're shy to uh, make the first move or tell you how they feel and maybe they need a friend or somebody to kind of say something to you or maybe, um, maybe they're thinking about asking a friend to set you guys up, go on a double date or something like that. I don't, I don't know. We'll see when we get into the tarot what's going on. And on the bottom of the deck we have within the next few weeks. So that looks promising. And then under that we have abundance. And then yes. And remain positive. Oh my God. So... <laughs> Wow. So, yes. Wow, uh, Gemini. So we have yes, abundance within the next few weeks. Remain positive. So I feel like... <clears throat> can you see those? Okay. So I feel like you have worry here in this connection. Is it going to come to fruition? Um, and all this energy is saying yes. Within the, something may happen here within the next few weeks. There'll be, there could be a lot of abundance in this connection in the future, and just to remain positive. No negative energy here. I'm getting that feeling now. No negative energy because there's no need to worry. And I think maybe, maybe they're shy or something, and they just don't know how to approach you or say something. I don't know. I think they need their friends to help aid in this connection in some way. I don't know. We'll see what's going on. Tarot here for you, Gemini. Second half of August. Or maybe they just need to ask uh, advice from their friends, family, um, about what to do, how to move forward. I don't know. Okay. I'll have to shuffle these this way. So let's clarify for Gemini. Last half of August the nine of cups right so this is wish fulfillment wow water energy here so I mean if they're not Virgo they could be a water sign we have Cancer Scorpio Pisces here and don't worry here no need to worry if you're worrying about getting your wish fulfillment your joy your happiness you're in that energy of wanting this wish fulfillment you see them as a wish come true you see them as fulfillment, happiness, joy. And this is telling you the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment, joy. <clears throat> wow. So, yeah, put that there. So, yep, you can have, you're in this energy here of wish fulfillment. Wow. Okay. So, let's get one for your person. Let's. Gemini's person, why are they in this energy? Yep, they're indecisive. Exactly. Wow. The two of swords. Air energy here. So, I mean, this can be any sign, so I wouldn't get too caught, but this is your energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, they do have you on their mind here, but they don't know what to do. You see, she's blinded here. She, she doesn't know what to do, what decision to make you know, where to go, you know, what to say, um, very indecisive energy here, uh, not knowing what to do at all here in this connection. Wow. Yeah. They're, they're like, I don't know what to do. And you're over here, you know, thinking you're my wish come true. And they are thinking about you because air is your energy. All right. So let's see what the actual situation is now for you, Gemini, the hangman. The Ten of Cups. Wow, Gemini. And the Five of Coins. So, Hang Man is Cancer Pisces. Uh, actually, no, that's Pisces. I'm sorry. So, yeah, you yeah, you don't know how they feel. You know, things are at just a standstill right here. Um, no actions being taken. Uh, kind of on pause. You know, nothing. nothing's happening. You know, you want this. You're worried about it. You know, wish fulfillment and happiness here, but there's a standstill and no action being taken with the hangman. If someone's just kind of hangs there, hangs back, you know, maybe you're not taking any action for some reason. And then connecting to them is the five of coins, and that is uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Earth energy here. 
So, you know, that's feeling, uh, maybe they're waiting for you to make a move, and, they're, and maybe they're thinking, you know, why aren't they making any moves towards me? And this is feeling, you know, lonely, abandoned, left out in the cold, neglected. So they're like, they don't know what to do. They're feeling lonely and left out and like, you know, it, what, what is Gemini doing, you know? But you're not taking any action either, but you want this. But, and you're worried about it, but you're not taking action, Gemini. Why? Why aren't you taking action? I don't know. Because connecting the two of you <clears throat> is the Ten of Cups, more water energy. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So this is like total joy and happiness. So you both want the Ten of Cups with each other. Total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Happy home and family life. Happy love life in every single way. You both want, you know, emotions overflowing. All the cups are full. Um, you both want that with each other. But no, no, nobody's doing anything about it. Hmm. All right, so let's see. Let me put the camera down. Gemini, what is your advice? What's your advice? So we have, ooh, we have death with Scorpio. And then we have the page of wands, which is fire energy. Uh, Leo Sagittarius. But we have all the signs here, so I wouldn't get too caught up with the signs. Um, but death is Scorpio energy. And this is ending... Of old ways ending um, you see the snake here like kind of like a sneaky energy here being illusioned with the moon um, a, a need to end this like energy of nobody making any moves nobody knows how anybody feels you know everybody's worried but you both want the same thing so there's a need to end that and you need to come forward here with the page of wands this is communication it's fiery passionate exciting um new communication here to this person so and this is kind of quick paced uh fire energy here so i feel like you need to come out of this death energy of just not not doing anything and end this um cycle here of nobody doing anything about this connection and you need to make the first move and come forward to this person and tell them how you feel tell them what you want hey you know i like you you like me or whatever here get some kind of conversation going at least to get this uh going and within the next few weeks all right so let's see what the possible outcome is now for you gemini in this uh situation this love connection the palace of swords so wow this is a dwelling. This is a structure. This um, can be any kind of um, abode, dwelling, building, structure. And it's a place of truth and clarity, of open, honest, truthful communication. Um, the palace of swords. Swords are all about, and that's your energy, it's all about the mind. You know, truth, communication, honesty, um, and all those things so yep so living in so you can live in truth honest communication with this person and this deck is the only deck that has the palace cards and there's only four in this whole deck and you got one so far so that's something special right there um gemini and that's your energy so living in a space of truth here that is the possible outcome so let's get more clarifiers now so the nine of coins so this is you know and this is could be their energy like we had virgo come out so if some are dealing with the virgo somebody who's very um stable secure independent someone who is single who can take care of themselves makes their money um has abundance very um very independent energy the three of wands so yeah again here the three of wands is an energy of waiting <laughs> nobody's doing anything there's passion here a very passionate connection here but everybody's just like looking at each other i feel like you both are looking at each other but nobody's taking action because the three of wands is an energy of like seeing what you want but knowing it's not quite time yet and you need to wait until it's the right time so Maybe it's just not the right time right now for some reason, but 
There's just waiting here. Nobody's taking action, just waiting. The Queen of Wands. So they could be um, a fire sign. I mean, we have all the signs here, but somebody very passionate here um, is a go-getter, very ambitious, um, usually successful, has a lot of drive and ambition. Sometimes they are entrepreneurs, very fiery personality there. Or that could be, just be the energy between the two of you, or it could be your energy, their energy. Um, so far, we only got one court card, which is this Queen of Wands. So, I mean, they could be a fire sign. And now we have the Queen of Coins. So now we got two people, two women here. So I don't know if... Because we do have two over here. So I don't know if... They're deciding between uh, two people or you are, but we have two women here now with the Queen of Coins and the Queen of Wands. So, you know, this is the earth energy here. So, you know, someone who's very stable and smart and practical and grounded, nurturing, caregiver, it's like a motherly figure. Hmm. I don't know, Gemini. Let's get more. Let's get the bottom of the deck, see what's going on here. So we got the star. So I had said that this Aquarius energy right at the beginning here, you had the nine of cups. You see this person as your wish fulfillment. And here is the star. So this is healing energy, balancing, a divinely guided energy with the star, um, wish fulfillment, dreams coming true. Peace, harmony, the seven of swords. So this is kind of sneaky behavior, self-deceit, deceit in some way. Uh, you see, you know, this guy kind of sneaking out of a situation here. Maybe they know that there's somebody else and they're waiting for you to decide um, who your real wish fulfillment is. The nine is always a, a single energy here. And we got two nines. Um, so this is your energy, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And this, you know, is kind of, like I said, sneaky, deceitful kind of energy. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on for you. So now we got the six of wands, fire energy. So, you know, this is uh, success, victory. So there can be success and victory in this connection. If you are the one, this is on your side. Maybe you have two people in mind here. Uh, and this, whoever this person is here, I mean, here is the earth sign. So um, if you feel like your true connection is with the earth sign, then I would say that is probably the one for you. If they're not Virgo, they could be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Um, I'm thinking that that's probably your person. Because we got the pentacles here, 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 and that's connected to them. And maybe, you know, they think you're being kind of deceitful because if you have somebody else here, or if they knew that, but maybe, you know, healing needed to take place between this connection, you know, and maybe you took off for a while with a fire sign and that left them this cold, neglected, lonely energy and put things on a standstill. But I think with the death here, it's an end, need to ending whatever ways, ending your ways here and finding your true passion and communicating to that, that to this earth sign and living in nothing but truth here. If there's been deceit in some way, if you had somebody else and they found out it's time to heal the situation and end those ways and just living in this space of truth and clarity and it will be successful and victorious here and here's the wheel of fortune now we have sagittarius energy so things moving in your direction um things getting better divine energy here fate destiny fate you know for health wealth fortune things going in a better direction here if there's honesty coming from a place of truth and clarity and healing the situation and choosing your true passion and ending your old ways 
now it's kind of all coming together here. And we got coins again. So I definitely feel like if you're involved with the fire and an earth, this earth sign is the one for you. And look, we got more coins. So we got the three and four of coins. So three is working together. Coins here, working th together, teamwork, collaboration. So working together with this person, the four of coins, I feel like deep down you've always had them in your heart and in your mind, but you were holding back from them, but yet you still have them in your heart. You're holding on to them, but yet holding back from them also. Yeah, ten of wands, very burdensome energy here. Uh, maybe, maybe this fire sign was nothing but a burden to you, you know? Maybe there was just a lot of passion. And now you're realizing, you know, having these two, it's just too burdensome. I can't do it anymore. And this is releasing the burden. So I feel like, and this is fire energy. Yeah, seven of wands now. Uh, defensive, on guard, uh, blocking, you know, blocking someone, letting go of the burden. And I feel like, feel like here working and collaborating with this earth sign telling them, you know, even though you were holding back from them, you were still holding on to them deep within your heart. So let's see. Yeah. Page of coins there again with the earth energy again, communication, uh, sure, stable, grounded offer. This is, you know, communicating to this earth sign. Hey, can we work it out? There's been a lot of mental entrapment here. I feel probably on their part because of your actions and, uh, everything at a standstill having this mental blockage. So I feel like this is you uh, fighting off the fire sign because you really want this earth sign. That's what I'm feeling, uh, Gemini. Wow, because then under that you have the Palace of Cups. And it's right underneath this earth sign. This is a living not only in truth and clarity of nothing but peace, harmony, love, and joy, fulfillment in every way, emotional fulfillment, Wow. Okay, so let's get let's get some extra guidance message for you, Gemini. The last half of August. So maybe you know you were just worried because you know of everything that happened here that um things were on a standstill with this earth sign because maybe you went off with fire sign and deep down you're worrying did I lose this person did I lose them and the answer is no and no need to worry because if you have this open honest truthful communication within the next few weeks and remain positive you can have this person back yes absolutely and have all this abundance with this person as long as it's as long as it's very truthful open honest healing all right, so let's get Gemini some extra guidance and advice here. So we have Our Lady of the Dark Mysteries. So I feel like <laughs> your person here feels like it's all a mystery right now. They have no clue if you're going to choose them, what's going to happen. They're probably worrying, did I lose my person here? Um... It's like a big mystery, a dark mystery here. All right, what else do we have for Gemini? Let's see if we get one more for Gemini. Love connection. End of August. End of August. End of August. Any other messages for Gemini? End of August. So we have Our Lady of Radiant Grace. Wow. And this is 33, which is about social. It's about teamwork, collaboration. 6336. Three, three, That's healing and balancing. And then over here, we have 6 also. So there needs to be a lot of healing and balancing in this connection. And 12-3, um, again, with the collaboration, the teamwork, working hard, working together in this connection. There can be grace and forgiveness in this connection gratitude i'm getting like a very forgiving energy very graceful energy having um gratitude forgiveness healing energy 
so Our Lady of Promise, eight. So eight is about the communication that we talked about with this sword energy, action, communication, and promising of nothing but truth, harmony, love, passion, healing, and balance. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Our Lady of Divine Presence. So, and that is the presence of this connection. I feel like you both probably know you're perfect for each other. And here's Divine saying, you know, this is a situation that can be healed, can be forgiven. Um, and gratitude, grace, pro make, you know, making sure stable, grounded promises building together, working together, healing, truth, clarity, love, passion is all here for you, Gemini, with this, feel like this earth person, or it's somebody that strongly has earth in their chart, and whoever this fire sign was, um, I only saw like this negative energy with this fire sign, if it was a fi another fire sign involved here. Okay, uh, Gemini, that was your Love Connection reading for the last half of August. If you did like this, you like my style, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly journal and love, so please don't miss out on that. Good luck to you in your Love Connection here. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as always, as I always, always say with my channel, so always, always shine your light.